African First Ladies were celebrated at the ongoing International Conference on AIDS holding in Kigali, Rwanda. This followed their various efforts and interventions at eradicating mother-to-child transmission of HIV-AIDS on the continent through the Free to Shine campaign initiated by the African First Ladies in 2018. Basita Bang in Kigali reports. It was an opportunity to reflect on the national, regional, and global leadership role of the First Ladies and interventions in their countries, especially on the health needs of the people. It was acknowledged that their interventions have led to the reduction of HIV and AIDS-related deaths by 45% and 28% of knee infection since 2010. The HIV positive families are linked to health centers and adherence to uh, ART treatment is ensured through the follow-up of a network of community health workers and peer educators. So we have seen significant progress in Africa. 85% of pregnant women living with HIV are now on ART, and that is up by 43% since 2010. They also identified the social determinants of health, such as gender violence, child marriage, gender inequality, poverty, which have continued to contribute to HIV among adolescent girls and women in the region. Where 2030 is around the corner and we have these women who are left behind. It would be recalled that two years ago, the Organization of African First Ladies for Development and WHO signed an agreement in February 2016 to work together to end HIV and AIDS, enable political commitments to eliminate cervical cancer and stop maternal, newborn, child and adolescent death in the African region by 2030. Basi Taipan, NTA News. Controversies continue to surround the acceptance of genetically modified foods in Nigeria, considering the benefits as well as shortfalls. Concerned experts and authorities advocate the seal of approval on every approved GMO food beyond certification, as this will gain the trust of Nigerians' people. Justin Bemuni reports. Agronomists say 